I call this tale Kiss and Makeup. <laughs> Like every other girl, Holly Hoplips had a crush on boys. But none of them would kiss her. Why not, she said. Don't you love me? No, said Harold Seagoon. You're far too young to be kissed. How old do you think I am? Six, said a snotty junior. I am not six. Uh, a hundred then? Ten said Harold. Holly was eleven, so she didn't say a word. <laughs> that night, she cried into her pillow until it was damp. <laughs> you know what your problem is, her reflection told her. You need to look older. Never trust a reflection. A reflection is a vain, insubstantial thing, only concerned with its own appearance. It cares nothing for the hurt it might cause, as this story proves. But Holly Hotlips was a stupid girl who thought that kissing boys was more important than staying true to who she was. And because of that, she deserved everything she got. I wish... I wish... I wish I looked older. Then she jumped into bed and waited for her wish to come true. Two hours later, she was woken by a tap on the bridge of her nose. It was a made-up fairy with a powdered face, ruby red lips and a wavy hairdo. Hello, darling, she said with a voice like honey. You want to age and look a dish, so here I am to grant your wish. Pleasure to meet you. I wish it was. What you see is not the whole story, I'm afraid. There's somebody I need to warn you about. Does she mean me? Go away. Gosh, you've got eyes in the back of your head. Yes, I'm called... We're called... Sorry, we're called the Two-Faced Fairy, dear, for rather obvious reasons. I'm the good fairy. And I'm the bad. Well, who wouldn't be looking backwards all the time? Nothing to look forward to. Oh, do stop butting in. It's not me with a face like a butt. <laughs> so vulgar. Holly, darling, you wish to look older to get kissed. Nothing could be simpler. My advice is wear lots of makeup. My advice is grab him by the hair and snog him till his lips turn blue. I'll go with the makeup. Very wise, dear. There you go. Now, should you need me again, write help on your window with a lipstick, and I shall be by your side in the twinkle of a glitter wand. Twinkle, twinkle, little fart, from whom I wonder did you start? <sniffs> Me! That day, Holly wore makeup to school, but being a novice, she wasn't very good at putting it on. By the time she had finished, her face was bright orange, her eyebrows were blue, and her lips had spread sideways to the very tips of her earlobes. But Holly thought she looked older. The fact that she scared small children on the way to school... Ah, it's a monster! ..and greengrocers tried to polish her head and pop it in their fruit displays... Sorry, love, thought you were a tangerine. ..did nothing to dent Holly's belief in her own gorgeousness. I look at least 16, perfect for kissing. At break, she stood under the chestnut tree and waited for her first kiss. But instead of luscious lip action, the boy screamed and ran away. Don't I look older? She cried. You look like a conker. That night, she called for help. Well, it's obvious, said the good fairy. You weren't wearing enough makeup. You mean I should have been wearing more? Heaps more, darling. The more you wear, the older you look. I'm wearing loads. <laughs> Have you always been bad? 
Ever since a witch stole my face and gave me hers instead. You think I like this ugly old mug? I'd give anything to change it. Don't get her started. Now, we're here to make you look older, so... I'm not. I'm here to get a new face. Don't get nasty, dear. You'll scare her. So, tra-la! Now, pop that lot on tomorrow, and I guarantee you'll be fighting the boys off. So the next morning, Holly tried again. Oodles of foundation, lashings of mascara, rubbings of rouge, and half a tube of lipstick. Oh, hi. Now, let me guess, you're 22. <laughs> it still didn't work. But I look older. You look ugly like an old witch. Being told she looked like an old witch brought Holly to her senses. She had been duped by her reflection. She didn't need to look older to get a kiss. She didn't need makeup. She just needed to be Holly. I wish I didn't have any makeup on at all, she cried. And when she got home, her wish had been granted. There was a note on her bed, signed by the good fairy. Sorry makeup didn't work. Even good fairies can make mistakes. Please accept this free pot of vanishing cream with my love. Use it to take your face off tonight. P.S. Good luck with the snogging. What a nice fairy she is, thought Holly, as she rubbed the vanishing cream into her face and removed all traces of makeup. But when she woke up in the morning, Holly Hot Lips got a shock. When she looked in the mirror, <gasps> nothing looked back. The vanishing cream had made her face vanish. Help! What vanishing cream? said the good fairy. I didn't give you any vanishing cream. No, sniggered the bad fairy. I did. I can't believe you think I'd use a word like snogging. Never mind that. I haven't got a face. Yes, you have. I've put a new one under your pillow. <coughs> So Holly put her new face on. <laughs> I'll never be kissed now. <laughs> oh, probably not, dear. Still, you can always cover the cracks with makeup. Oh, shut up and go away. That was the most sensible thing Holly had said in ages. If only she'd said it earlier. But the bad fairy was having none of it. Ungrateful wretch, she said. You got your wish, didn't you? I mean, you do look older. Toodle pip. And before Holly could catch it, the two faced fairy flitted off with her face. Never to be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> We're going this way. No, we're not. It's my turn to choose. It's always your turn. Stop pulling my hair. I can't see where I'm going. 